More on that as we learn more. Our other top story at six, a man accused of robbing nearly a dozen CVS pharmacies did it by tricking workers there. Listen to this. Police say he would walk into the CVS stores posing as a lottery worker to gain access to tickets behind the counter. Would then make off with thousands of dollars worth of lottery scratch-offs, all without breaking a sweat. Well, stores in nearly a dozen Metro Detroit communities were targeted, including Lake Orion, Sterling Heights, and Warren. And that's where Priya Mann is live tonight. And Priya, finally, how'd they catch him? Well, police were able to get a fingerprint from a lottery ticket cash in at this CVS store in Warren, and this man wore very distinctive clothing. In fact, when police literally laid out the outfit in front of him, well, this thief fussed up. This thief is one convincing actor. He got away pretending to be a lottery agent more than once. Armed with a laptop, he was given access to the tickets. And when he got behind the counter, the thief stole more than $1,300 in tickets from this CVS store in Lake Orion. Well, he knew how to walk the walk and talk the talk. I mean, I couldn't walk into a store and imply that I was working with the Lottery Commission, so he seemed to know what he was doing. Ten days after that robbery, the man did the same thing at a CVS store in Sterling Heights. In that robbery, he got away with $3,000 worth of tickets. I think it's, it's kind of bizarre that he's able to fool everybody. I think that... Um, there might need to be a little more training in, in place. Over the next month or so, the man tried cashing the tickets at CVS stores in 11 communities across Oakland and Macomb counties. That is nuts. That's never know what's going to happen around here. Police were able to get a fingerprint from a ticket cashed in Warren, and the unique clothing captured on camera was recovered from the man's home. If you're going to rob a store, you shouldn't wear a jacket that's kind of a one of a kind. 40 year old David Witherspoon of Pontiac has been charged with felony retail fraud. Uh, he admitted it was him, but he has a problem with stealing. Uh, and I think his quote to the officer was, I just, I just have to steal. Now here's the kicker. When police executed that search warrant on the man's home in Pontiac, he wasn't there. Witherspoon was in Oakland County Jail on an unrelated charge. The chief says the cooperation between multiple police jurisdictions as well as with state lottery officials led to the quick arrest. Reporting live from Warren, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Well, Priya, he did tell the police he, he can't help but steal, but does that mean he has a long history of stealing too? Uh, very lengthy, everything from bank robberies to stealing cars. The chief believes Witherspoon would have kept stealing until he was caught. All right, Priya Mann, reporting for us live. Thank you.